Welcome back to On Stage. Over the past hundred years, the American theater wing has been known for many things, most notably the Tonys and the numerous grants and scholarships it awards to aspiring artists. But that's just a sampling. Here's the wing's president, Heather Hitchens, with some little known facts about this illustrious organization. The American Theatre Wing was founded in 1917, a hundred years ago, as a war relief effort by seven women of the theatre, three years before they had the right to vote. The American Theatre Wing was the precursor to the USO. It was the idea of artists using their entertainment forces and their artistic forces to raise the morale of the troops. And one of our early efforts and signature World War II efforts was the Stage Door Canteen. It was a place where the soldiers in those times could come and get a sandwich, they could dance, they could hear music, and really just take their minds off the difficult things that they were grappling with. The stage door canteen was integrated before the armed services was integrated. The rule at the stage door canteen was that if a black soldier came in, the hostess was to dance with him, no questions asked. And that was offensive to some people. So we were criticized from the Senate floor, and the women of the wing told the Senate floor to go suck an egg. This organization has an amazing history of artists being the chairs, starting with Rachel Crothers, who was one of the most popular playwrights of her day, who was part of the founding, really the sort of guiding force um, behind the founding, to David Henry Wong, who's one of the most prominent playwrights of his time. One of the unknown facts about the American Theatre Wing is what a prominent role we play in developing musical theater. When you think of this year's Tony Awards, two of the nominees got Larson support at critical times, and I think in both cases it was their first grant. Dave Malloy and Pasek and Paul both were supported through the Jonathan Larson grant. The Wing is very concerned about the next generation, making sure that we have the next generation to do this work. In 2014, the not-for-profit off-Broadway theater Ars Nova was a recipient of a grant from the American Theater Wing. The theater is best known for giving birth to Natasha Pierre in the Great Comet of 1812.